Hey y'all, um, welcome back to another review. Today I'm reviewing Over the Garden Wall, uh, starring, got the cast right here, um, Elijah Wood, Colin Dean, Mel uh, Melanie Linsky, Christopher Lloyd, um, Jack Jones, John Cleese, um, uh, and uh, Tim Curry. Um, so basically the, this is actually a more of a mini-series than an actual movie, but the, each episode's 11 minutes long, so it, um, all le there are, are 11 uh, 11 to 10, 10 to 11 episodes, um, which all equal up to about an hour, 47 minutes. Um, uh, basically the, the concept is these two brothers are lost and well, they're lost in this very strange woods. Um, they, they're basically just trying to get back home. All right. So I've heard nothing but amazing things about this. I, uh, a lot of people are saying how great it was and, you know, and I'm I tend to watch stuff that people say are good. Um, all right, let's get into what I liked. What I liked about this miniseries is actually the obviously the animation is really good. It's very vibrant, colorful, you know, smooth, very um, expressive. It's it's really good. Uh, it has that you know early Cartoon Network vibe that this show aired on. Um, uh, the pacing, not slow at all. It's very fast-paced. Um, I like some of the concepts. Uh, it's a very interesting concept. I will say that there is an investing story in here. Um, one, the show never gets boring either. Obviously, it's a show for kids. I don't think they're going to go all um, like slow like other uh, TV shows I've seen. Some TV shows I've seen get very slow that are for a mature audience. And this one's obviously not. Um, but yeah, that's good. Voice acting is very strong. You know, has a lot of good actors. Elijah Wood, Christopher Lloyd, John Cleese, you know, Tim Curry, all great actors. Um, I don't think I've seen much of what everyone else has done. Um, at least to my current um recollection uh but the voice acting is all very strong the only thing i could hear and think is that this is this is early frodo <laughs> you know because it's you know lord of the rings elijah woods in this so um i really liked some of the creepy parts of this like there are some elements of this show that do get very mildly horror like and i appreciated it there are uh one there's this really creepy character he's like the beast is what he's called he has, he's like a shaded silhouette with like antlers and such he's creepy he kind of reminded me of some sort of mythical folklore creature or something like that um yeah uh, i like the villain he's very good i like the villain he has a i, I like his creepy voice <laughs> um my favorite character is probably christopher lloyd's character he had the most depth um what else um all right oh uh, let me that's really all i liked about this let's get into my negatives all right so my negatives with the show or mini series comes with literally everything else this is nowhere near flawless like i heard um this show really got on my nerves a few times like not in a good way one the episodes in my opinion are way too short to to um you know flesh the story and characters out because literally character arcs begin and end in seconds and you phase out for like five seconds you'll miss an entire character arc it's happened to me um and then another thing is a lot of of the tension is deflated by out of place humor which this is something that i've that's been a pet peeve of mine for a long time how a lot of horror flicks or dramas or action movies mostly in like the mcu or any modern horror movie uh, any scene that's mildly dramatic or intense is deflated when someone makes a stupid joke and this happens a lot in this miniseries the younger brother makes a like every time something intense is about to happen the little brother would say something that instantly deflates it um so that am i i mean yeah he's a little kid but but seriously <laughs> um i do like some of the concepts but they don't really do much with them one there's this 
town of skeletons that dress up like vegetables. I thought that was really eerie looking. Like maybe they could do some creepy thing. They don't really do much with it. There's this school where these two, where these bunch of crazy people are literally teaching animals how to act like humans. I'm like, that's 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 eerie. That's really creepy. Um, like this could easily be like a like a what do you call it? Like like really, it could be really creepy. But they don't do much with it either. Um, once again, there are a lot of episodes that mostly just feel feel like filler. A lot of scenes happen and then are never mentioned again. Um, what else? I also thought the ending very abrupt it ends very abruptly um and it's not necessarily a bad ending it's actually a good ending very satisfying ending just i wish it was fleshed out more because it literally just ends like that like as soon as they're like you know the ending's happening it literally is just like the narrator literally interrupts saying you're satisfied with the ending it's over and i'm just thinking whoa what the what just happens <laughs> like did it just end did they they must have run, ran out of time uh probably should have I don't know, spent some of the more scenes that didn't really need to be in there more on character development, in my opinion. Just my personal opinion. I'm not, I'm not like the, the critic or anything. So those are all just my opinions. So, uh, why am I reviewing this actually? Because this is long invalid right at this point. I had some thoughts. I wanted to express them. This is my channel. I do what I want. All two of you probably don't even care anyway. Um, so yeah about it uh, so in conclusion over the garden wall is not bad it's not terrible even though i kind of criticized it a lot it's not bad it's actually good um i still gave it a four on letterbox out of five and i think it's good i just don't think it's a masterpiece there's a lot of issues i have with it and there are some issues with the storytelling some pacing problems like i think it could have slowed down a bit maybe had the episodes be a little longer um, uh, but it's well written, it's well animated, well voice acted, uh, the storytelling's okay, uh, it's pretty good, and but it's a little sloppy in some parts. Uh, the final episode's really good, um, at least I think it was the final episode, some of these literally blend together because of how short they are. Um, so yeah, if, like, if you want to see it, go, go on ahead. Um, uh, wasn't much of a fan of the musical numbers, this is a semi-musical like there are some episodes with a song in it but it's not it's not like la la land or anything um i kind of forgot all the songs though so you know uh i'm gonna give uh i'm gonna give over the garden wall a b and is enjoyable um so if you've seen over the garden wall what did you think of it i'm probably gonna get a lot of flack for not giving this an a plus but i didn't think it was that great um i thought it was good i just didn't think it was a flawless masterpiece like many claim it to be Especially with how high the ratings are in Letterboxd. It literally, and IMDb, it literally has higher ratings than most TV shows I've seen. Uh, so, yeah. Um, if you like this, give it a like. Um, subscribe to the channel if you enjoy it. Which, no, judging my, by, my, by my sub count, a lot of people subscribe but don't really watch. So, but that's fine with me. This is just a hobby. Uh, yeah, so, um, hope you enjoyed. See you next time.